How's everyone getting on? Um, in the mood to make another video. We did this yesterday, example number 18, and it, it was a beast. It doesn't look like a beast, but to do it right, it was it was tricky. You're going to do the. Hopefully, you'll have done this and this for your homework. Um, could be tricky enough. In fairness, this one here. Anytime you've ended it wraps around on a tangency, definitely adds a little bit of confusion. Um, we're going to work on example number nineteen now. I can tell this is going to be a pain. No, I can tell this is going to be a piece of cake. What are we saying? It's going to be a pain. It's only a piece of cake compared to. Um, should never say that though. What we're going to do is there are about four extrusions here. We're going to draw this L shape. And in this example, we're actually going to draw the 3D model first. And then we're going to um, make a drawing out of it the new way. So we're going to draw this L shape out first and this is going to be the origin right here uh, the zero zero I'm using SOLIDWORKS terms but anyway now let me just just let me double check example 19 that's where we are I'm going to go new sheet sets manufacturing imperial and we're going to go down to model and look, um, let's let's stay where we are. Actually, I'm in 3D Basics right now. Let's just stay there. And I'm going to create. Look, I'm not even going to create a construction layer. Let's have a look at these dimensions. From there, that L there is 1.75 to 1.75 going up that direction and two going in that direction. Specify first point zero comma zero and it snaps one point seven five. I'm just gonna get rid of this bad boy. Let's try that again. So one point seven five and then we're gonna go to here. Up one point up point three eight um from there up point three eight and from here over point three eight and I'm gonna come down and and just keep an eye on this point here. There you go. And we have an L shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine that these semicircles are not here at the moment. I'm going to imagine that these holes are not there. I'm just going to make an L shape, an L bracket. Now, its distance is from here to here is 1.5. So I'm going to type in region. I'm going to select all of this. And I'm going to go to where it says... This is going to be a relaxing part and I'm just going to revolve this. Look, uh, even that's fine there. And I'm going to go extrude and I'm going to press enter. I selected inside of the object, make this 1.5. And I'm going to re revolve this around like we always do. The 90, de 90 degree revolve, all right? like that no no problems there now I'm gonna have this thing done in about 15 minutes compared to like an hour two hours at last pro anyway I'll shut up about the problem 1.5 is the circle okay now what what's your 1.5 from the center I'll come out it, watch i need to be careful here if i highlight over there and then i try and draw this circle you see what it does it the face that you kind of 
rest on is going to determine the orientation of the the circle no see that's not right watch circle i highlight i don't i'm not i'm just i'm not clicking anything i'm just highlighting over it and then i come in here and look at that and then i'm going to lock onto there and do i need to make a region out of that if i go press pull no i love it is that right though is this what we want yeah it is now that's 1.38 so that's a half an inch no 1.38 is this that's a half an inch and that's a half an inch make sure you don't click on any of these by accident all right point five and then we come around here and i'm going to press pull here i ah, know see that's that's not great okay well what about this what happens if i do this can i go in this direction oh, look at that that was easy um what is it specify extrusion height 0.5 plus 0.38 what is that 0.5 plus 0.88 0.88 wrong direction press pull is it maybe minus 0.88 no let's try it again so i'm starting there it, it will be 1.38 i need to go specify extrusion height 1.38 wrong direction um let's try it again did i say minus 1.38 or if i just go 1.38 a ah, tim making a a balls of this all right let's try it again minus 1.38 why is it not working um do i need to create another circle like that and I go press pull. Can I highlight the circle easily? No, that's a pain. Um, if I highlight it that way, and I go press pull, maybe I need to make a region. Yeah, there's a region here made. Extrude. There you go, you pain in the hole. Um, enter. See, that's too much. One point three eight. That it will be. It will be point eight eight. 0.88 minus 0.88 okay and then we need to union everything now i don't like how there's a line there why is there a line there there should me should not be a line there is there two if if i highlight that and delete it yeah the, it's the region it was the region that was there okay relax it's not going to take that long. All right, 0.75. Um, D for diameter, 0.75. And then we go press pull. And it, it took it out automatically, which is, yeah, that's good. Now, happy days. We're going to draw uh, radius 
I'm going to come over here 0.5 and I, I've put in a little I've put in a line and I'm going to get a circle I'm, I'm highlighting over this edge that face and there's my 0.5 and I'm bringing this all the way down to there and I'm going to do the same over here there no see how it's going in the wrong orientation so what do I need to do circle highlight over this face come over here see I, I'm and then I highlight it over that too quickly let's try it again highlight over this face get that line look you could also do this if it's being a pain right watch this um copy And there's no way that's going to rotate around. Okay. So we've got like a pair of Mickey Mouse ears there. And we're going to go extrude. And we're going to bring it to that point there. Watch. And then I'm going to delete that. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can union that now. Just union all of it. And now I need to get rid of those lines. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm using the, the blue box because I know that if I go with the green box, it's going to select everything. If I go with the blue box, the, because I'm after unioning, unioning everything, it just um, is going to highlight the line. All right. So, um, right, what are we going to do? We're gonna we're going we have diameter 0.5 for the two circles. Let's minimize that. Alright, circle. Come on now. Point D for diameter. 0.5. We'll get another circle going. Press pull. I don't know why. Hold on a sec. I don't know why um, you need to make a region sometimes and other times you don't. If one way works great, if it doesn't, then try the other way. Subtract. We're going to, this is our first thing. And we're going to subtract these two up from it. How hard was that? Um, save your work. Right. We're going to create a drawing. That was easy. Too easy. All right. What are we going to do? We're going to go layout. Create view from model space and I like I can handle that that will say that's the front view I click and press enter I click and press enter and I got my two views and look it does the does it do the hidden lines yeah oh that's that's nice projected select parent view this view I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to click where it needs to go and I'm going to press enter. Um, can I move these around? This view follows the other view, but these views are a bit small. I wish I could make them a bit bigger. Yeah, watch this now. Um, can I make it? I only have very few s selections here. Two to one. That's too big. Can I put whatever I want in here? 1.5 is to 1. I like it. Um, 
we just bring that over and then I'm going to put in a rectangular viewport just like that and I'm going to double click in here and how can I change what I, can I change what I want there if I go to home and I type in sketchy that's what I'm talking about and I'll click on model to get out of there um, I'm going to double click it no I'm going to click outside and I'm going to make this viewport a little bit bigger can I move it up out of the way and then double click in here can I zoom in that'll do the job right there and then I'll click out much easier than what we've done before um, we're going to go to drafting and annotation I'm going to go to, for a new layer we're going to call this dimension dimension one and I'm going to make it green and I'm going to move on to it annotate center mark center line one two too easy center line okay dimensions put all your dimensions in put some effort into putting some put in the correct information here get a logo of your company or the college place it in the bottom corner you're just going to go insert attach mm, not a block you can you can attach it here an image should bring it in all right make a make a nice um make a nice drawing for me all right that's that's example number 19 much easier than 18 um so that's the way it is all right i'll i'll see you on in example number 20